Welcome to SQL Server 2008 Data Mining with Power Pivot, Demo 3 of 3. We're using 2008 SQL Server or higher, Excel 2010 with the Power Pivot and Data Mining add-ons using the 32-bit framework. We're starting with our notebook here and uh, I'm going to use the existing worksheet to use data that I already have in my Power Pivot window. And first I'm going to have a customer pivot window. And I'm going to pick off some variables from what we know about the customers inside AdventureWorks. And it's amazing how much information companies know about individuals. It's a point that does raise some interest uh, in privacy and how data are used in organizations. And I believe it will continue to raise these ethical and moral and legal questions going forward. And once you see what this example is, you may agree. This third demo did, did get the most interest when I did present it, and I'm sure that uh, people will want to be downloading the resulting workbook at marktab.net. If you go in the Microsoft presentations area, you'll be able to download it and see the results of what I'm getting. Uh, I have some sum values here, which I'm going to change to averages. And by the way, uh, in changing them to averages, you may want to go back and review this on your own, but I am adding a type of bias to the results, namely that I am biasing the results by category or row, and I'm totally disregarding how many observations went into each row. Now that was intentional and I did that on purpose to show that uh, there may be a reason to do by uh, introduce some bias and it's okay to do it. doesn't mean it's wrong, but it does mean that if you do it, that you do tell people uh, what you did to get your results. So you see the columns that I have here and again you can go back and pause the video to see which columns I'm picking. I have a customer tab and now I'm going to go to an employee tab. I'm going to do a similar exercise. I'm going to build this second pivot table based on only one table from the original um, from the original power pivot area. And again, I'm picking specific characteristics of employees, which AdventureWorks knows to be true. Now, I will tell you right now that this analysis is focusing on marital status. And marital status is going to be the outcome variable in this data mining exercise. We are going to be looking at the correlation between other characteristics for either customers or employees and how they relate to marital status. You can see me changing the variables again from sums to averages, again intentionally adding a bias. I did not be, uh, talk about that during the live presentation, but that is an intentional decision that I'm making. And then once I have all my variables, I can uh, take this flattened pivot table, copy it. I like to do contr control A on my keyboard, which will select the entire area, copy, and then I can paste the values to a new worksheet ply where I can then turn it into a table which will then be ready for data mining. There will be two tabs. One's going to be based on the employees and one's going to be based on the customers. And I'm sure customers of AdventureWorks would not necessarily need to know that we're looking at their marital status or being able to talk about that as a variable. It would seem that you're only interested in talking about bikes and bike accessories, but there's actually more interesting data in this AdventureWorks database than just uh, looking at bikes. Now that I have my tables, I'm going to use something on the front, on the top here, called Prediction Calculator. And my, I'm going to predict marital status is M, which means predicting marriage. I'm running the prediction calculator. The nifty wizard here will produce an output a set of uh, worksheets, which again you'll be able to see in the workbook you can download. 
It provides some analysis graphs, which you can study. And here I'm going to the second one. I'm running the second calculator again. Same analysis, marital status married. One was done for customers, one was done for employees. And because the variables are different in the two worksheets, you're going to have different results. I will offer one caution. Correlation does not mean causality.